Hello, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial brought to you today by a lovely olive green t-shirt. Today we're going to be looking at how to fix burnt out skies. The sky can sometimes be a problem when you want a very nice um, contrasty image and the sky can sometimes be left burnt out. And we're going to look today at how to fix that. So let's look at the photographs we'll be using today. This is the image this is it in colour. I shot this photograph in RAW because that's how I always shoot my photos. I had it set to black and white on the camera. But this is the RAW image captured in colour. So this is what it looked like in black and white. And you can see already that we have some burnt uh, highlights here. The sky is pretty white. There's no, we've lost pretty much all the detail that was here uh, in the sky, although there wasn't much here to begin with. But we've lost this and that's what we'd, I'd like to try and retain. So this is the image that we got to. So as I mentioned in the black and white uh, video, I really like dark, contrasty black and whites. So that's why you know the tree is really dark, and you know, there's a lot of contrast. And this, this is the kind of black and white. But we've managed to re get these um, highlights back, um, detail the detail back. We've got the clouds back. So we're going to look at how to do that today. So let's drag this into Photoshop. This will be a bit slower. So let's Minimize this. So this was taken the other day in Berkswell, in a field, uh, obviously. So we have it. Uh, black and white. So I'm not going to do too much about how I convert it to black and white. Um, I did it using uh, Canon's Digital Photo Professional, which is their way of importing raw images on your computer, doing a little bit of uh, editing and then converting to JPEG, and then you can put them into Photoshop uh, and do more work on them. You can use Photoshop's raw thing, but I prefer to use Canon's because I know I've used it a lot more than I've used Photoshop's raw editing software. So let's pretend we've already got our black and white image how we like it. So we're now going to look at how to get the sky back. Now previous tutorials have used gradients and quick mask and again that's what we're going to be doing here. So this is more of a more real-life situation of, of what the gradient and tool and the quick masking tool can be used for rather than just playing around. So hopefully um, you know all about quick masking mode. Um, to enter it, we just press Q on our keyboard or this icon down the bottom here. So we're into quick mask. Next, we're going to select the gradient tool, which is this icon here, or pressing G. Now, for this, uh, the purpose of this, I want the first box up here to be ticked, which is linear gradient. This is the more traditional one. And because I want this top area to be uh, selected by the quick mask, I'm going to go to the bottom of the image, drag up to the horizon, or just above it, and let go. Now we can see that although we've gone up to where we want it to stop, it hasn't quite carried. So we can just uh, change this by clicking all the way up to the top, and let's see if that gives us some more so yeah, that gives us more idea. So we're coming. So will it affect mostly up here, and then it will start to fade out slightly, and that's what we really want ideally, because obviously we don't want what the um, we're basically going to darken this by putting in a layer. So we don't want the um, the grass to be made any more darker than it already is. We just want it to affect the sky, and that's what's going to happen. So to make this a selected uh, to select. The image, just press Q again to exit quick mask mode, and there's our selection. It could be um, a bit neater, uh, but for the purpose of the demonstration, that's fine. Uh, now I'm just going to move over to my move tool, which is V, and then just because I prefer it. And now we're going to add our color fill, so we're going to go to solid color which is black. And you can see we've got this nice black here. Let's move this out of the way. 
So we can see that it hasn't affected the bottom of the frame, it's only affecting and it's slowly gradiating down to nothing at the top of the frame here. So that is fine for the purposes of a demonstration. And now obviously that looks stupid. So now we're just going to dial down the opacity to about 30%, maybe 40, just until we start seeing the um, clouds come back in. So you can see that's obviously without the gradient, the colour fill, and that's with. So you know, it's kind of just darkened the sky and it's made the image look a bit more moody. So that um, obviously you know, there's not a, a perfect example, I wouldn't use that as a final thing, I'd go back and do a bit more, but that's a general idea, you know, obviously there's a lot more freedom you can use and you can be more creative and you can decide more, uh, you can determine the gradient more where you want it to affect, so you can fine tune that, but that are uh, the steps you need and that's how to darken your skies and obviously you can do the same if you want to uh, darken the foreground just do the gradient in the opposite direction. So that is the tutorial over. A very quick one today, a very easy one. And I hope you find this useful now that we're kind of getting into summer and the skies are a lot brighter. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.